Hey there, welcome to my channel. My name is Rocco. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we all know how we can light a scene up. We can drop a, a spotlight or a point light into a scene and we can light a scene up, we can light a model up uh, and that's all well and good. But there's a difference between lighting a scene up or a model up and lighting something up that is aesthetically pleasing. And one of the problems that we often face when lighting a scene is we can get some really dark, ugly shadows at times, uh, which isn't really a good thing. And what we would want to do is soften those shadows up to make them a, a little bit more diffuse so that they're not really hard and sharp and, and off-putting and, let's face it, downright ugly in some cases. Uh, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to put a light into the scene and light our model up, which we can see here on screen looking decidedly sultry. And then we're going to soften that light up uh, to make it a little bit more aesthetically pleasing. And so the first thing that we're going to have to do then is drop a light into our scene. Now at the moment, if we check on render settings, we can see the environment mode is set to scene only which means the only lights in scene are going to be the ones that we add in. Uh, and if we come across to NVIDIA iRay, we can see that everything is black because currently there are no lights in the scene. So if we come back out of there and then come across to our perspective view, uh, oh, I better censor that. Uh, we are on a family-friendly channel, aren't we? Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to mess around. I'm just going to position a camera roughly in this situation or this position here and of course how we do that is we come up to our create menu down to spotlight and then we apply the viewport transform so that it places the camera at our perspective view and we're going to click ok and then we're going to come back to our camera and then come straight across to nvidia iray so that we can see the impact of that light which you can see is a fairly dim white light. So of course it is because we haven't changed any of the default settings on the spotlight. So if we come down into these now, uh, I'm going to change the temperature of the light. The temperature affects the heat of the light. You know, low numbers will be a, a ready light, higher numbers will be a bluey light. Uh, so I'm just going to reduce it ever so slightly down to about 5,000 to get the impact that I want. Uh, and as you can see there, there's a little bit of an orange tint on there now that you can see. Uh, and secondly, of course, I'm going to increase the luminosity. Nothing scientific. I'm just going to add a couple of zeros onto it just to create a nice bright light into our scene. And there's our model all lit up with this, with this nice spotlight that we put in there. Job done. Uh, so thanks for watching and I'll get... Actually, no, it's not really job done, is it? Uh, and the reason being is because if we take a closer look at it, it may appear on the surface to be job done. But when we take a look, there's a few little dark, heavy shadows that are around that are not very aesthetically pleasing. They're not great. You know, there's all four or five areas on a body here where we've got these really dark shadows of the, these really sharp edges. They're not really great to look at. And what we want to do is we want to soften these shadows, soften the light and soften the shadows in turn so that they blend in a little bit better into the, the scene that we've got. Now, the reason why we get these shadows with the really hard edges is because when we put a spotlight into a scene, the light that's emitted comes from a very, very, very small point in the center of the, the spotlight. If we have a look, I've got a little camera set up here briefly. If we have a look at the spotlight that we've got, these lines that come uh, where they converge right in the center, that's where all the light is emitted from right in the center of that spotlight. And so that little small surface area produces a lot of intense light that hits our model and creates these really dark edged shadows. And so what we need to do is to turn our spotlight into something very similar to what a photographer would use, as you can see on screen here, a few examples. These are soft boxes and what they do is this larger surface area that you get means that more light is hitting our model from different angles, which means some of it creeps around the sides and creeps around the bumps and the lumps on our model to light up a little bit of the areas which would normally be in dark shadow. And so what we need to be able to do is to turn our spotlight into one of these soft boxes. And that is very easy to do when we come down, we look at the, the light settings. We look at light geometry, as we can see, it's point. That's the point in the center of the spotlight that we looked at earlier. And what we need to do is give it a click and we see these different shapes that we get. Most of these work very similar. You'll have to have a real expert eye to notice the difference. But if we just turn it into a rectangle uh, and then increase the height and the width of 
that rectangle so that it's a square into 100 by 100 say that's one meter by one meter uh, and now we take a look at our model and we can see a couple of noticeable differences straight away firstly a lot of these shadows which was the primary reason for doing what we were doing have gone a lot softer now you can just see now how it blends there it's still there but it just blends a little bit better into the image that ugly one from a face has gone a little bit uh, this from a body has softened out a lot and certainly this one on the arm has become very very soft and diffuse now which is great which is the impact and the the, the effect that we wanted to get but there's also a second thing happened if you've noticed uh, we now get in this wet glean across a body and the reason for this is because i actually did have a wet skin uh, geo shell over her uh, but you couldn't notice it you couldn't see it in the when we were just using the spotlight as a point light but now that we're using it as a rectangle and she's being hit by light from a, a wider surface area it's now starting to pick up the details of that glean and that glisten that i had on a skin uh, if we just have a quick look now at the two images combined you can hopefully see the differences between the two images where we were using the spotlight with a light geometry of a point and over on the right where we're using the light geometry as a rectangle uh subtle the light geometry as a rectangle is a lot more aesthetically pleasing i hope you will agree uh so that's it uh, that is how we soften light that's how we diffuse light uh, and get rid of those dark and harsh ugly shadows that cover across our model uh, hopefully you've got something out of this video if so again give us a like down below as it really really helps me in the uh, search algorithms with youtube uh, and if you haven't already please consider subscribing and hitting the little notification bell down below as that will really really pre be appreciated by me uh, Finally, if you've got any questions, whether it's about this video, any other video, or anything about Daz in any way, shape, or form, just drop it down below in the comments, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye now.